It's time to release. It's time to release. It's time to release your strife. It's time to release your beef. You still carrying beef in your heart and strife and negativity towards something. You got some YouTube beef. <laughs> you got some Facebook beef. You got some IG beef. Man, release it. Release it into the water. Release it into the flow. It's time to release all that. You can't take it with you. Your relationships. All you can do is say, I I pray I've been there for my brother. I pray I've been there for my sister to the best of my ability. And I'm going to continue doing that. That's a natural thing. Anybody, any hijacks bringing beef to you, man, all you got to do is be natural. You don't need to carry beef in your heart. It's natural to slay hijacks. <laughs> it's natural for Joshua to slay hijacks. You don't have to carry beef and hatred and and, 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 and envy and jealousy and negativity, all that stuff, man. All that, all that illusion, emotion, man. Drop your emotion and go with the flow. And if you find yourself lost right now, you're just stumbling on this information here and there, or you're confused about this and this here and there, find yourself, center yourself. Maybe you're moving too much. Maybe you're not moving enough. Maybe you're not being creative enough. Remember, you come from the creator. You should always be doing something creative, man, you know. Write a short story. Work on some music. Work on some poetry. Love the tide battle. It should always be a creative flow. A creator flow. What's beef? <laughs> What's beef, man? You're about to enter a whole new year. I got love for everybody. I hopped to everybody. I got no beef, no hard feelings, no strife with no body. All praise the creator, you know what I mean? <laughs> Only the creator is important enough to carry around with you. All that stuff is not. You do your best and you continue to do your best. If you fail, if you fall, keep going. Don't carry it around. Do your best. If you fail somebody, ask for forgiveness. Do your best. Keep it going. Someone failed you. They they ask for forgiveness. Forgive your brother. Forgive your sister. Does it mean, you know what I mean, that they immediately got your trust? <laughs> that they immediately got your heart? Because they say, I'm sorry? Nah, but it means I'm not going to carry around on negativity towards you. I'm going to take what I have gained, you know what I mean, from the perspective of a situation, whether it's a relationship here or a beef, whatever you want to call it here. No, nah, man, you take all that, get the babies out, and keep it going. And do better next time. Continue to crystallize. Continue to be water. Man, continue to go with the flow. Whenever you find yourself washed up on the shore, just look out to the water and belly fly back in it. And release the fear that you're carrying. Because the only thing that got you stuck on the shore is fear. And until you overcome your fear. Until you be a man. Stand up. Until you be a woman. A sister. Stand up. Only you know when you're ready. To fully be. You know. I am. I am that I am to fully be. No one else has to help you do that. You got to do it now. You have to release it now. This is our fourth quarter. Not just mine. Not just yours. We're in this together, people. If you're listening to this video, you listen to this message, you've been surfing the wave, make sure you download the app. Especially if you're serious about driving up. I mean, being an ether. Witness the ether. You know what I'm saying? Go with the flow. You see us getting it in. You see us putting it all in for Hawa. Man, TDR, all the family across the plane just dropping incre incredible work. Incredible work every week, man. Yohanneton, Hebrew Prince, Karen Mayo, Bon Hawa, what it do, man. Aqua V, what it do. KB, the hijack of Cezanne, what it do. Irvin Reed, the Templar, what it do, man. 
Tide Battle. Aqua, what it do? Dropping poems every night. She has two radio shows on on the TDR ether. Really three, because we got the Tide Battle Poetry Hour going down tonight, man. A whole hour, man. So, man, Brother Nature living well. Chef Candy, what it do? You know what I'm saying? CJ Battle. Everybody I'm naming has shows that they're putting out every week. And you can go check that out. You can download the app. Surf the wave and tribe up. Don't just wait for the YouTubes. Because these are sporadic, right? They come when they come. When we have time from getting it in every night. You know what I mean? So keep surfing the wave, man. What it do? Hire them. Art. What it do? Hitting you over the head every every Friday. <laughs> man, and it goes on and on, man. So, you know, this is just what we started with. And I look forward to the next wave. You can't get washed up because you were part of the first wave. Go back, release the fear, empty your cup, belly flop, create something new. Get out of the YouTube magic. Yeah, man. All this social media stuff, it carries its own magic. You th you're only witnessing the wave through YouTube? Well, come surf the wave, man. Five nights a week. Surf the wave challenge. Put it on the hashtag, surf the wave challenge. And just, you know, dig on it for five minutes, man. Dig on somebody's show. Dig on something that we're doing. Or just listen to the music and get your 432 tune-up. Because that's what we're doing. It's vibration awareness. So you're getting the info and you're getting tuned up at 432 hertz every night. Love to the tribe for making it possible. So when you two go down, you know where to find us. Don't even act like it. You should have an app already. We're working on another one. All praise the creator for all the help that's coming in now, man. I got people saying, man, I got servers. Let's go. I'll, I'll help design this. Let's go. You want to do this? Let's do that. Oh, it's all coming together from across the planet. So if you find yourself on the shore, jump back in the water, and let's keep on flowing. And we support you, support what we're doing, work together, vibe up and tribe up. Most high goddess. The most high goddess. It's not about being in any other frequency but joy and redemption and rejoicing. How would you want your children to greet you through the door? How are you going to greet the creator through the door? In fear or in rejoicing? Because you know you in order. You know you're giving it your all. With what you got, with what we have, this is what we got. It ain't enough for you then find something better. But we've been doing this since 2014. We've been growing in different ways. We're not just in one place. We don't just exist in YouTube. We're not in the YouTube magic. We have our own magic. And we put our magic to Hawa. We put our energy, frequency, and vibration to Hawa. We talk it. We walk it. Tribing up. Tribe Nation. Now we're about to get back. In this Moshe drop, in this book of Jashir, Hawashar, Yashar, in uh, chapter 80. And when we talk tribing up and vibing up, I just want you to remember one thing, man. I need you to remember one thing when we talk tribing up and vibing up. Aqua V got the drop. Sister V on the road again. Now, this Yapa, 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 Aqua. Is our sister Vanessa. Now this is the sister that rode out, man, when uh when Jay Stu and K Stu, man, hit Utah, man, a little while back, man. Um, you know, this sister came out from Louisiana by herself. You know what I'm saying? Took some shelter with her, some some mobile shelter, <laughs> you know, got her some shelter and provided shelter for Jay Stu, K Stu, man, uh, Mario Shalise for Seven months, eight months out there in Utah, man, if not more. And just made sure the family was warm and cozy and comfortable, man, during the dead of winter. I mean, this is over the winter time. She knew this, the family was going to need that extra help. She came out. No one had to ask her. She ain't asking for this. We doing this. She ain't asking for none of this. We doing this. The sister uh, got her van, started doing her out of van living. Showing us how to be free out of the van, man. Out of the van. It had a, you know, horrible accident, man. The van flipped over. But she 
is 100% injury free. And this is what we praise her while for. She was in Arizona, hit some black ice. The van skidded off the road, man. And the sister, you know, all praise the most high, is back home in Louisiana. We're going to get the sister back on the road again because this is her dream to get her van, to live out of her van, to see the world. She's a grandmother. She paid her dues. All praise our Hawa for keeping our sister Vanessa safe during her recent van accident. Unfortunately, Sister V was unexpectedly, unexpectedly struck with black ice while driving down the mountains in Arizona. The green dracon, as she called her new home on wheels, slipped off the road, flipped several times. Our framer and shaper protected our sister, keeping her safe from all injury. Vanessa is now back in her Louisiana home and ready to restore her vision of being hijack free and on the road again. Please support our Aqua V and help her get back on the road in a new and improved Green Dracon. We are her wall of protection. We are Drop Nation. This is what we do. Lego! Hala Hawa, man. You already know. And these are a few pictures of the van she had that got completely totaled, man. And we're trying to get her back in a new van just like this. We're trying to get it even better, man. I want her into some 18. Let's get into some 18 Mr. T type of van. Some super turbo, turbo jet. I want this van to be flying. I want Aqua V's new van, man, to have like some jet propulsion, jet propulsion system, man, turn into a damn, damn um, transformer, man. I want this van to transform literally into a dragon. You know what I'm saying? Let's get her back in this van, man. This was the one she had, so you can see how she. How serious the sister is. Alright. She did all this on her own. Put all her money in this. This is her bedroom. Alright. She getting her, her pantry stocked up. Look at those. Uh, th th This is the butterfly experience man. You know she hit the TDR airwaves. And she dropped a whole beautiful uh, recording about the butterfly experience. And now you, got, you get to see how much she's living it. <laughs> you got the cat. Look man. She got the cabinet with the lock so nobody could pick the lock. You know, look, and she's able to wake up in the mountains, man. This is the backyard. So when you're doing it and you do it as a team and you do it safely, you know what I mean? That's the one thing, you know. This sister's so independent. Like I said, man, she she drove from Louisiana to Utah by herself to shelter J. Stu and K. Stu. And she did it. She went to Arizona by herself to learn more about out of van living, you know what I mean? And she was by herself when she had the accident and the Most High surrounded her with the wall of protection to get her out that van and get her home safely and no hijacks allowed, man. Wave surfers, let's help Sister Vanessa's butterfly experience fly higher than ever. Shabbat Shalom. Man, Hob to KB says, Much a Hob, Aqua V, you're an inspiration. Sonia Perry says, Much love. Freddie Birdman, man, man, much love to Freddie B. Man, we're going to get back in that Aqua Core. We got season two, thanks to Freddie B. He said, Green Dragons will fly again soon. Let's go. Sister D, Dara Campbell, Miss D in the Copper Color Awakening. Please subscribe to Miss D in the Copper Color Awakening. Halal Hawa Hawa for keeping his hands of protection around you, Aqua. For the sleeping dragon has awoken. Much ahab aqua v. It's time to set Phineas free, man. And that's just how we do it, man. So please, you know what I mean? Just just, just like you wrapped your arms around J and K, man, when they had beautiful hot death side. You know what I mean? Let's go. It's just like you wrapped your arms around J and K. Oh, where's my, uh, where's my J stew fun? This is the uh, tribal fund. Look how we almost halfway there, man. This is our tribal fund. We started this, man, you know, years ago, I feel like. You know what I mean? A little over a year or so, whenever we started this one, man. But this is our fund directly, you know what I mean? To make sure that we keep it all tribal. To make sure that we got an emergency stash, man. To make sure that we ready at any time, man. Four, three. Four nine seven five four thousand nine seven five. So we almost at five. Ten thousand was our original goal, man, to set up. 
to make sure that we always had something on deck. In any case of emergency, anything going down, we know we got a little over 3,000 now. 1,800 has went into the tribe already, you know what I mean, during emergencies. So, man, love to Chef Candy, who's my bookkeeper. So she got all the books. She's keeping the books. And, yeah, we got about almost 3,200 right now. After that 18, we got 3,200 right now in our books for, hey, man, when the shit hits the fan, you know what I mean? When the shit hits the fan, we know that any emergencies get into our land, we at least have a little pot. You know what I mean? We're trying to get more because when you're dealing with tribal, anything can happen. So please continue to help build our emergency pot. This is our emergency pot when the shit hits the fan because what we can do for you is what we can do for us is what you can do for yourself you know what i'm saying when you help us when you're helping aqua v you don't know and trust me when the shit hits the fan you're gonna need that green van you know what i mean this green van might pull up on you this green van might be able to you know what i'm saying assist you or somebody you know so this is just you're you're witnessing just the beginning of what we're able to put together for a couple of causes, you know what I'm saying? For a couple of reasons. Let me get my uh, J. Stu from, man. Much of hop to Hawa Stu. Keep supporting J. Stu right here on the uh, right here on the site, man. Come to 432 to drop. You can get all the drop, man. The radio and battle time, all that. Come over here. You can get that Sister V fun right here. Or you can click it right, ben right, right beneath the YouTube. Right on the YouTube link right there. J Stu Baby Fun, support the stewards, man. Man, yapa. Yapa. So, this beautiful drop right here, man. All praise the most high for just a healthy, healthy baby. J Stu and K Stu's Baby Fun, man. So far, we almost got two G's to, you know, help assist the family and, you know, having that beautiful yapa child, man. Coming up with that first child is always. You know, a, a trialing experience, but, you know, when it's tribal, you know, this is what you've been able to do for the family. You know what I'm saying? All praise the most high. Keep water in the flock. So you can support the J's 2 Baby Fund by clicking the links below or going right here to the site, 432thedrop.com, man. And, uh, you know, keep that tribal fund growing. We can, we can get past the 10. We can get past that. We just need to have our pot. We just need to know that we have emergency 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 resources and when uh j stew had went out that first time that's when we first put this together and said we need to make sure we always have emergency resources in case any anything like this happens again or anyone's in any situation where a wall of protection is needed in that emergency situation man going to the lab man so you know what i mean this is not to fix you know uh, car transmissions and, and this and this and that this is strictly for when the shit hits the fan we know we got it so all praise the most high we still got about three thousand in here right now keep building that up for the tribe and yo this is what we're doing right now this is our focus getting aqua v on the road again all praise for why support the tribe keep it rolling keep it flowing and yeah man get to the site you know, enjoy the drop that's dropping. Type Battle just dropped some wonderful, important definitions you need to know. Check that out. She's dropping that uh, real spill. Support Aqua V. Get that van popping, man. Support our sister, man. Get that van popping, man. Yeah, man. And uh, follow us on Twitter. We got a new Twitter account. Our other one got hacked and all jammed up. So we started a brand new, fresh one. We got like 10 followers. Keep Keep, keep uh, you know, flowing and surfing the wave. On Twitter is where you get all the songs that's dropping. So you see now dropping, Bougie Banton right now is dropping. So get all the updates on Twitter. If the shows get canceled for that night or that week, you'll know on Twitter, all right? So get that new Twitter. It's not at 432 The Drop. It's at 432 The Drop Radio. So the old one was at 432 The Drop. Now on Twitter, follow us at 432 The Drop Radio to get all the drop. You get your drop links, man. Man, we're we're searching, man. We're we're searching for that book of Nathan, man. Anybody that got a PDF on the book of Nathan, highlighters, man. Drop that drop, man. 
Book Drop, Our Debt to the Red Man by Louise Seymour Hewton. Man, major weight. This is the next one. Aqua Tai will be dropping live in the ether, man. Templar and up, man. This is an incredible drop from the Templar. Just for 432 to drop. Go check it out. Red Chill Pill Lounge, KB. This is episode 8. He's dropping the set for Yetzera. And he's just putting some jazzy music with it. Hawaii Negroes. What? Oh, Sister Cara J got the drop. We might talk about this actually tonight, man. This is the Shibata Show. It will be going down live. Tune in, 432 to drop. You can come right here, you know what I mean? You can click the listen button right here. You can click listen right here. Or you can download the app and you can get it on the go. Get it on the go. So all this is dropping code, man. Sign of the times. Like I said, Ty Battle drops poetry. Every show for us. We do Flashback Friday. Today we're going to go back in the crates for the sister. And dig on some, uh, you know, drop that she dropped months ago. We want to bring it on back. So we got that fresh water always coming in. Sign O the Times by Aqua Ty Battle. Let's go. Glaciers dwindling in size. In some cases are disappearing. Ice caps steadily and secretly melting. Degrees in atmosphere in the deserts, savannas and mountains are suffocating, smelting. Sun rays are scorching the skin and earth surfaces, burning our eyes and are officially blazing. Air is constantly polluted, being sprayed with metals and fetuses that are deceptively hazy. Man. Waters are retreating, drawing back, drying up, moving out, or are they just blatantly disappearing? Land masses are washing away, being covered up, discovered, and some are reappearing. Mudslides, earthquakes, hurricanes, blizzards, tornadoes, and unpredictable bad weather bouts. Pestilence, disease, abductions, killing, addictions with needed medicine and hunger droughts. Money, homelessness, bankruptcy, falling ghettos are social constructs that keep us broke. Advanced technology, supercomputers, viral programs, invisible planes that are real, not a joke. Bodies of water are expanding and world temperatures rising are clues of global warming. Wars and rumors there are of broadcasted on the news and in the papers as the final warning sign oh the times by aqua type battle give us some love man go get that drop come leave a comment let's go man let's go ahead and get it now we're ready to keep our waters flowing and let's get this now drift man love to jesse wah jesse wah i love this drive man it's like 40 minutes of funk man come back put this on just drift down the drift down the now man Drift down the Nile, man. Allow Hawa. Let's get it. The book of Hawa Shah, chapter 80. Go pull it up if you got it. If you got a PDF, that's dope. Uh, if you got that set four, set four, go get that set four, man. Love to uh, Silas Nehemiah, man, putting me on this set for drop. Let me hit a quick reload over here so we know it ain't play play. <coughs> oh come on hijack 101 Let me prove i don't want your bed i don't want your raw eggs man love to tie battle and uh brother nature man living well man I, i've been man egg free meat free <laughs> meat free man for months more months than i can count man it's been probably like two months i don't know a little close to three i don't know we just going now man and uh cj battle taught us how to transition to vegan and we chilling, man. No meats, man. No parasites. I'm, I'm all right, man. This is a good time. It's a good time for us, man. So let's drift down the water. And let's get this uh, Book of Hawa Shah, Chapter 80. We're getting into this Moses. We got the Moses being king of Kush for 40 years, right? We got the Moses being put in the dungeon for 10 years. And the only person that checked on Moses was Zipporah. Only person checking on Moses, 
according to the book of Joshua, with Zipporah for 10 years, and yet he came out and freed all y'all. So sometimes you got to check on yourself. Sometimes your woman holds you down. <laughs> Let's get it. The book of Hawasha, chapter 80. Enjoy the flow. And at the end of two years, Hawa again sent Moses to Pharaoh to bring forth the children of Israel and to send them out of the land of Egypt. And Moshe went and came to the house of Pharaoh. And he spoke to him the words of Hawa who had sent him. But Pharaoh would not hearken to the voice of Hawa. And Hawa roused his might in Mitzrayim upon Pharaoh and his subjects. And Hawa smote Pharaoh and his people with very great and sore plagues. With all their streams and rivers and wind, a Mitzri came to drink and draw water. He looked into his pitcher and behold, all the water was turned into blood. And when he came to drink from the, his cup, the water and his cup became blood. And when a woman kneaded her dough and cooked her victuals, her appearance was turned to that of blood. Man. Her appearance, when she's kneading dough and cooking, her appearance was turned to that of blood. And Hawa sent again and caused all their waters to bring forth frogs. And the frogs came into the houses of the Mitzrayim. And when the Mitzrayim drank, their bellies were filled with frogs. And they danced in their bellies as they danced when in the river. And all their drinking water and cooking water turned to frogs. Also, when they lay in their beds there... Perspiration bred frogs. What? What? Man, we heard these plagues and these frog things, but we didn't hear it like this. We didn't hear the woman cooking and it didn't. Her, her appearance turns to blood as she cooking. It, all the water turned to blood and frogs, man. Can you imagine that? And then when these people went down to sleep and they had any type of sweat, the sweat turned into frogs. That is cruel, man. That is a plague. When every time you sweat, your sweat drop turns into frogs, man. <laughs> I need you to get this. This is the book of Joshua, man. All right, let's go. Notwithstanding all this, the anger of Hawa did not turn from them. And his hand was stretched out against all the Egyptians to smite them with every, every every heavy plague and he sent and smote their dust to lice and the lice became in Egypt the height of two cubits upon the earth so you thinking lice small little lice Hawa made them damn lice grow into like two cubits man like I don't know a couple feet I don't know man Big ass, big ass monster lice, man. Let's go. The lice were also very numerous in the flesh of man and beast. And all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim, also the king and queen, Hawa sent the lice. <coughs> Let's go. And it grieved Mitzrayim exceedingly on account of the lice. Notwithstanding this, the anger of Hawa did not turn away. And his hand was still stretched out over Mitzrayim. And Hawa sent all kinds of beasts of the field into Mitzrayim. And they came and destroyed all of Egypt, man and beasts and trees. And all things that were in Egypt. And Hawa sent fiery serpents. 
Let's go. Scorpions, mice, weasels, toads together with other creeping in dust. Flies, hornets, fleas, bugs, gnats, each swarm according to its kind. And all reptiles and winged animals according to their kind came to Mitzrayim and grieved the Egyptians exceedingly. So, yeah, all kinds of pestilence, including dragons. Don't forget about the dragons. And the hornet came upon them and drove them away, and they removed from it into their inner rooms, and it pursued them. And when the Egyptians hid themselves on account of the swarm of animals, or dragons, they locked their doors after them, and Hawa ordered the Salunuth, Salunuth, which was in the sea, to come up and go into Mitzrayim. So this Salunuth is spelled uh, S-U-L-A-N-U-T-H, and it sounds like a Leviathan type of thing. I'm gonna look it up and look it up in the fine print right quick, cause I need to know. Salunuth. All right. So in the back of the book it says a monster in the sea. Uh oh. <laughs> Described as being ordered by Hawa to come up and go into Egypt. A monster in the sea. Any questions? Let's go. We just talking Leviathan. We just talking dragons. Let's go. All right. So Hawa sent this monster. In the sea, right, against Egypt, and she had long arms, man. She had long arms. So you're not talking about Leviathan, like, like you know. You're talking about another one. Let's go. Ten cubits in length of the cubit. Ten lengths of the cubit of man, and she went upon the roofs and uncovered the rafting and flooring and cut them. So this beast. This beast, or this, you know, this creature comes out the water, a female, <laughs> she jumps on the rooftops, uncovers the rafting and the flooring, and cut them, and stretched forth her arm into the house and removed the lock and bolt. So she went directly after somebody, we're talking Pharaoh's people, and opened the house of Egypt. Afterward came the swarm of animals into the houses of Mizraim, and the swarm of animals destroyed the Egyptians, and they grieved them exceedingly. So you're talking about plagues on a whole nother level. You're talking about plagues beyond what you have ever heard in the KJV. Oh, the water turned to blood, and then, you know, this, these, you know, swarms of locusts. All right, I mean, all bad, yeah, but this is more graphic, man. Okay. Verse 24, I'm in Jasher verse uh, chapter 80. And Hawa sent the pestilence, and the pestilence pervaded Mitzrayim, and the horses, and asses, and in the camels, and the herds of oxen, and sheep, and in man. And when the Egyptians rose up early in the morning to take their cattle to pasture, they found all their cattle dead. And there remained of the cattle of Mitzrayim only one in ten. And the cattle belonging to Israel in Goshen, not one died. And Hawa sent a burning inflammation in the flesh of the Mitzrayim, which burst their skin. And it became severe itch in all the Mitzrayim from the soles of their feet to the crowns of their heads. Does this sound like Hawa don't care about you? This is called retribution. This is called get back. This is called the big payback. Every night, every show, we do the Sparta time, man. Love to the Templar, man. We boot all hijacks, all negative frequency off the metaphysical, magical cliff bone of Mount Shasta. You put your negative vibration on the metaphysical, magical cliff bone of Mount Shasta. Ty Battle puts her boots up there, man. We just follow those boots and we boot all negative vibration clean off the cliff bone, man. Kick him in the chest bone. Kick, kick him in the chest bone. You can do it barefoot. You can put your boots on. Isaac Ford got some nice boots he puts up. Chef Canny puts up a big green dragon stomping out the hijack every show. 
it's a lot of fun, man. Y'all should check it out. So, their skin started bursting open. Many boils were in their flesh, that their flesh wasted away until they became rotten and putrid. Notwithstanding this, the anger of Hawa did not turn away, and his hand was still stretched out over Mitzrayim. And Hawa sent a very heavy hail, which smote their vines and broke their fruit trees and dried them up, that they fell upon them. Also, every green herb became dry and perished, for a mingling fire descended amidst the hail. Therefore, the hail and the fire consumed all things. So you look at Egypt, let's go. Also men and beasts were found abroad, perished of the flames of fire and of the hell, and all the young lions were exhausted. And Hawa sent and brought numerous locusts into Mizraim, the Chasso, Shalom, Chargol, Chargoli, locusts each of its kind. <laughs> so they got specific locusts, man which devoured all that the hell had left remaining. Dang. Then the Mitzrayim rejoiced at the locusts, although they consumed the produce of the field, and they caught them in abundance and salted them for food. So they were so hungry that they rejoiced, even though these locusts were consuming everything, because then they can eat the locusts. Damn. And Hawa turned a mighty wind of the sea, which took away all the locusts. So no, you can't eat the locusts. Bye-bye. Even those that were salted and thrust them into the Red Sea, not one locust remained within the boundaries of Mitzrayim. And Hawa sent darkness upon Egypt. The whole land of Egypt and Pathrok became dark for three days, so that a man could not see his hand when he lifted it to his mouth. And at that time died many of the people of Israel who had rebelled against Hawa. So what's happening today in America? Who's still rebelling against the word, the sound, the frequency? Verse 37, and at that time many of the people of Israel who had rebelled against Hawa died. And who would not hearken to Moshe and Aaron and believe not in Hawa that Hawa had sent them. And who had said, we would not go forth from Egypt, lest we perish with hunger in a desolate wilderness, and would not hearken to the voice of Moshe. And Hawa plagued them in the three days of darkness, and Israel burned them in those days without the Mitzrayim knowing of them, or rejoicing over them. And the darkness was very great in Egypt for three days, and any person who was standing when the darkness came remained standing in his place. And he that was sitting remained sitting. And he that was lying continued lying in the same state. And he that was walking remained sitting upon the ground in the spot. And this thing happened to all of Egypt until the darkness had passed away. Can you imagine dark, so dark that you don't even move for three days? Verse 41 in the dark. Days of darkness passed away, and Hawa sent Moses and Aaron to the children of Israel, saying, Celebrate your feast, and make your pekok, pekok. For behold, I come to the midst of the night amongst the Egyptians, and I will smite all their firstborn from the... So he's just now smiting the firstborn after all that. Let's go. And I... Let's go back. And I will smite all their firstborn from the firstborn of a man to the firstborn of a beast. And when I see your peacock, I will pass over you. Just in case you don't know what that is. You know, it's always, you know, good to, you know, get some clarity as you go. P-A-C-A-C-H Not Pecan Pie So Peacock, Peacock
Pesach, Pesach. So Pesach, so that C is an S, Pesach. Uh -huh. Passover, sacrifice, so that that Passover, sacrifice, festival to Passover, Pekah, a pretermission, exemption, used only technically of the Jewish Passover. All right, so now we can get clarity that this is the frequency that the children of Israel had to be in to avoid this desolation. Let's keep going. So when I see your Pesach, I will pass over you. And the children of Israel did according to all that Hawah had commanded Moshe and Aaron. Thus did they in that night. And it came to pass in the middle of the night that Hawah went forth in the midst of Mitzrayim and smote all the firstborn of Egypt from the firstborn of man to the beast. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Mitzrayim. And there was a great cry throughout Egypt in that night, for there was not a house in which there was not a corpse. Man, not a house in Egypt that there wasn't a corpse of their firstborn. Also, the likeness of the firstborn. Look, if this happened then, what do you think is going to happen now to this Egypt? Are you going to listen to the sound? Are you going to start tribing up? Are you going to keep hating your brother or keep fighting your sister? Let it go. What's beef? You're entering a whole new year. Release it into the water. Let the water handle it. Let it be chaos for those that need chaos. And let it be nurturing, cool flow for those that are in the frequency. Also the likeness of the firstborn of Egypt which were carved in the walls at their houses were destroyed and fell to the ground. Even the bones of the firstborn who had died before this and whom they had buried in their houses were raked up by the dogs of, of Egypt on that night and dragged before the Mitzrayim and cast before them. Even their dead firstborn that they already buried were dug up by the dogs of Egypt and put at their feet. You don't get it, get away with this. Oh, well, my, my firstborn already dead. Well, here we go again. When your Hawa gets retribution, I mean, look at what you had to go through all these years. Shit. I think, I think the Most High still loves you. You ain't going through this. You just jammed up. You got relationship problems. <laughs> you got money problems. You got Moneta Juno problems. Moneta Juno. You don't know. You don't know how bad it could be. Man, you say Hawa, Hawa, all praise Hawa every day. You don't got to deal with pestilence. You got your hijack. You better overcome it because you got no excuse. It's your time. Let's go. And all of Egypt saw this evil which had suddenly come upon them. And all of Egypt cried out in a loud voice. And all the families of Egypt wept upon the night, each man for his son and each man for his daughter, being the firstborn. So it wasn't just the firstborn sons, it was the firstborn, firstborn. Being the firstborn and the tumult of Egypt was heard at a distance at that site, at that night. And Bathia, the daughter, of Pharaoh went forth with the king all that night to seek Moses and Aaron in their houses and they found them in their houses eating and drinking and rejoicing with all of Israel and Bathia said to Moshe is this the reward for the good which I have done to you which have reared you and stretched you out and you have brought this evil upon me and my father's house <coughs> All right, so remember, Bathia is pretty much who took him in, according to the book of Jasher, right? One of Pharaoh's daughters that took him in was Bathia. So she's like, come on, man, I took you in, man. What's up with all this, man? You gonna bring me all this evil? Verse 55, verse 51. And Moses said to her, surely ten plagues that Hawah bring upon Egypt. Did any evil accrue to you from any of them? Ooh. Did one of them afflict you 
And she said, No. And Moses said to her, Although you are the firstborn to your mother, you shall not die. And no evil shall reach you in the midst of Egypt. And she said, What advantage is it to me when I see the king, my brother, and all the household and subjects in this evil, whose firstborn perish with all the firstborn of Egypt? And Moses said to her, Surely your brother and his household and subjects, the families of Egypt, would not hearken to the words of Hawa. Therefore did this evil come upon them. And Pharaoh, king of Egypt, approached Moses and Aaron and some of the children of Israel who were with them in that place. And he prayed to them, saying, Rise up and take your brethren, all the children of Israel who are in the land, with their sheep and oxen and all belonging to them. They shall leave nothing remaining. Only pray for me to Hawa. <laughs> Only pray for me. Take everybody, man. Take everybody. You out of here, baby. Get on out of here, babe. And pray for me, Moses. That's called humility. Why are you tested? Why do you go through pestilence? Why do you go through plagues in your life? Humility. Let's go. And Moses said to Pharaoh, Behold, though you are your mother's firstborn, you fear not. For you will not die, for Hawah has commanded that you shall live in order to show you his great might and strong stretched out arm. And Pharaoh ordered the children of Israel to be sent away, and all of Egypt strengthened themselves to send them. So all of Egypt said, all right, all of America is going to get down or lay down. Let's go. And Pharaoh ordered the children of Israel to be sent away, and all of Mitzrayim strengthened themselves to send them, for they said, We are all perishing. And all the Egyptians sent forth Israel with great riches. All of Egypt sent forth Israel with great riches again. They didn't go out broke. They didn't go out with nothing. When we try to put together a little a little pot for a tribal fund, for, for an emergency fund, or, you know, support Jay Stu or support Aqua V, get her in the van again, just know that the wave is going to grow. The wave is going to grow. And as we continue to make our exodus from 440 to 432, Hawaii will put the necessary measures whether they're financial or whatever we need to get the land we need to build our land because when you build it they will come so we don't worry about Moneta Juno because were these children of Israel worried about money or were they given great riches from the Egyptians the hijacks that said look we are now humbled we know you're the children let us give to Hawa, everything we got by giving it to you. And that's what will happen in this case too. That's why I ain't tripping. That's why you don't need to trip. We just need to continue to build our framework. Support the family that's dropping their radio shows. We're going to drop the sponsorship soon where you can support them being a Copper Dragon sponsor, Silver Dragon sponsor, Gold Dragon sponsor, $25 a month, $50 a month. $100 a month if you want to do the Gold Dragon sponsor. $100 a month. That's like a steakhouse dinner for those that eat steak every week <laughs> or every month. Support Thai Battle instead of eating that steak. Support Brother Nature. Support CJ Battle instead of eating that steak. Be a Gold Dragon sponsor. Support our family's exodus. This is for them to start having money coming in. Residual, residual money coming in so that they can start buying their land. Building their land, building the land we got. You know what I'm saying? So this is the best plan we got to be hijack free, to make residual income while we build our land up by just reading books to our community. So support that. It will be dropping soon. You know what I mean? If you a hijack and you still want to support, you can support it because all these Egyptians still supported the Israelites on their way out. And we need all the help we can get, all the help Hawaii sends our way. We accept our help. It don't mean 
You know what I mean? That, oh, here's this and here's this, but we'll accept it. You know what I'm saying? We'll say thank you. Thawada. We appreciate it. Keep supporting. Support the family. You dig? You want to be there? Be there for Hawa. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for you. Do it for Hawa. Do it for the creator of the earth. Let's go. His children are getting free. Support the exodus. Support the way. Hawa. And all of Egypt sent forth Israel with great riches. Sheep and oxen and precious things. They were hooked up by everybody with everything. According to the oath of Hawa between him and our father Abraham. So according to the oath of Hawa that extended to the children then that they will be supported. That Hawa will give them a wall of protection, even great riches as they made their exodus. You think that oath ran out? You think that oath don't apply to the so-called Negro found here? When you stand up, the whole world stands up with you. According to the oath of Hawa. Between him and our father Abraham or Hawata, let's get it. And the children of Israel delayed going forth at night. And when the Egyptians came to them to bring them out, they said to them, Are we thieves that we should go forth at night? And the children of Israel asked the Egyptians for vessels of silver, vessels of gold and garments. And the children of Israel stripped the Egyptians. I need you to focus, man. As we make our dismount. We're about to get out of here, baby. Focus. Because what happened then is happening now. The children of Israel stripped the Egyptians of their vessels of gold. Why? Because it belonged to them anyway. Anybody rocking gold, silver on this earth is borrowing it from you. It is yours by inheritance. The Most High has shared it. He has given lots to the children of Lot and they were not happy with their lot. He has given lots to a lot of the tribes and children. Even those that you would think he wouldn't give a lot to, he gave a lot to. Because he shared your wealth. But when it's time for your freedom, they're going to have to come about that. To make sure you get your freedom, they're going to have to come about that. They're going to have to say thank you, Hawa, for all these great lots, all the riches you've given us. It's time for us to invest these riches in the cause. We're going to invest our riches in the cause. We're going to be gold dragon sponsors. And sponsor our family who's reading books to us so that they can accumulate their land so that they can build their land man to be free that's the best we got you got a better play play support our play we'll support yours this is our play to be hijacked free without hitting the streets with pitchforks kicking over shit we say man let's just buy some land and get get separate man so we got 10 acres. We want 10 more. We want to keep building. We want to build our roads. So look out for the ways to support when it's your call, when it's your time. Because this is supporting you. Because when these pestilence come, make sure you're on the right side of it. All we desire is to be jammer free and hijack free, man. That's, that's it. We don't push no doctrines and this, this. We dig on Moses because Moses is a foundational truth. You can dig on Moses whether you read in Jasher or whether you literally digging in Moab. So the pestilence is real. Our frequency is real, is real. We coming home, baby. Wakey, wakey, man. Shabbat up. Shabbat up, Shabbat up.
Hire Mark, take the wheel, bread. AD, what it do? Zeke, what it do? Let go. This ain't no play play, man. Let's finish it out. And Moshe hastened and rose up and went to the river of Egypt. Back it up. And the children of Israel. This is the book of Hawashar, Jasher, chapter 80, verse 61. We're going to read it on out. We're going to finish this. So, you know, stay tuned. We're going to keep coming back. I'm going to do a silent weapons part two. You're going to get some of that. Look out for Preston John 34. Look out for that. But we do the Preston Hour, you know what I'm saying, at 9 o'clock every night. Well, Monday through Friday, all right? So you'll get the replay. So you get the Preston John all the time. Keep on digging, family. Keep on digging for the priest king. Let's go. Verse 61. And the children of Israel asked of the Egyptians. The children of Israel asked of the Egyptians. The children of Israel asked of the Egyptians. The hijack. Vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments. They said, give me everything you got because we is out this bitch. Give me everything you got because we getting out of here, man. We out of here, baby. Give me your garments. Give me your silver. Give me your gold. Be a silver dragon sponsor. Be a gold dragon sponsor. Let it go for our flow. Support CJ Battle, man. Support your Honiton. Let's get it. All the vessels of silver, gold, garments, and the children of Israel stripped the Mizraim, stripped the Egyptians of all they shit. Jack move. Let go. Give me it back. Verse 62. And Moshe hastened and rose up and went to the river of Mizraim and brought up from thence the coffin of Joseph. Wait. This is how we making our dismount. Can you see me? This is how we making our dismount. The coffin of Joseph. Yeah, man, that's where we're going to leave off on. We're going we're gonna to pick that up in chapter 81. Don't even trip. Remember, he had to go get the body of Joseph. Remember? That was already buried in Hebron, remember? Well, we had Jacob buried in Hebron, so I don't Joseph might have been with him there. Either way, he went to the river. He went to the river to pull up the body of Joseph. The river. Let's go. That's the baby. Let's go. <laughs> and Moshe hastened and rose up and went to the river. Of Mitzrayim and brought up from thence the coffin of Joseph and took it with him. The children of Israel also brought up each man his father's coffin with him. Each man the coffins of his tribe. Each man the coffins of his tribe. So before they made a move, they had to get the body. They had to get the bones. What was so important that they had to travel with the bones? When we go back and get our dragon drop, we will be getting mucho dragon drops. So stay tuned for that too. And you'll get back into this Cobra. And Chef Candy's doing a great job reading the whole book, man. The New World Dragon, the Cobra's Code. She's also reading the King's Fifth, man. The whole... Uh, Cities of Gold, Chronicle of Akab Core, everything is based off of by a book called uh, Scott O'Dell, The King's Fifth. Chef Candy's reading two different books, Wild Dropping Recipes. So I'm proud of my wife, man. I'm proud of my family, my children. I'm proud of my tribe, man. And uh, again, man, we, we don't harness, you know what I'm saying, no, no silliness, man. So release all that, put it in the water, do better next time. Every day is, is, is a new beginning, you know what I mean? Every present is a present be 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 in the present don't feel bad about nothing in the past don't be afraid of nothing in your future you're too busy being somewhere else man be still man be real man 
and be water. Stay with the flow. Stay up. Suit up. Choose up.